Hi, and thanks for joining me for another Lexio Divina on the Catholic Light Podcast channel. We'll read the Gospel for Saturday, November 26, which comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 21, verses 34 through 36. As we've done the last couple of weeks, we'll read through the passage twice and pause to consider what God might be saying to us through the words and phrases that strike our attention as we listen. So let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We just take a moment to place ourselves in the presence of God. I invite you to close your eyes, to listen, and to take a couple deep breaths in and out. Lord, as we breathe in, we pray for the grace to be filled with your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fill our hearts, our minds, our bodies, our souls, our spirits, our lives in this time of prayer. And as we breathe out, please help us to let go of any distractions, any fears, any doubts, any worries, any anxieties. And please help us to place ourselves in your presence. We thank you for the gift of our lives, the gift of our faith, our relationship with you, and for this time of prayer. As we listen, please help us to note any words or phrases that strike our attention. And please help us to prayerfully consider what you might be saying to us in and through these words and phrases. And so now we listen to the gospel passage from Luke chapter 21, verses 34 through 36. Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life. And that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent and to stand before the Son of Man. Lord, we pause to consider any words or phrases that may have struck our attention. If we have a pen and paper in front of us, we take a moment to write those down. And we take a moment now to ask you what you might be saying to us through those words and phrases, through this gospel passage. As we listen a second time, again, Lord, we ask you to help us pay attention to any words or phrases that strike us. Maybe they're the same words and phrases, different words and phrases. And we ask you once again to speak to us through this passage, through your living word. And so we listen again. Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life and that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent and to stand before the Son of Man. We pause now to consider again what words or phrases struck our attention. And we invite you, Lord, to Give us the grace to prayerfully consider this passage, to think about it, to pray on it, meditate on it, and eventually contemplate you and your word, what you are saying to us in the particular circumstances of our lives right now. The words that struck me were drowsy, and anxieties of daily life. So this week, I'll just continue to pray with those words, ask God what he might be saying to me in and through them, where I might be becoming drowsy, thanks to the anxieties of daily life, the tasks, the to-do lists, the chores, and I'll pray for the grace to relinquish those to God to place them before him so that I don't become drowsy, but I may stay awake and attentive to him. And so we end with a prayer. Lord, we thank you for being with us in this time. 
this time of Lexio Divina, your divine reading. And we pray for the grace to continue to uh, meditate on this passage and to listen to you, what you might be saying to us through it, through others as we make our way through our daily lives. And may we respond with grace and strength, saying yes to whatever it is you are inviting us to. Whether that's to an action, a way of thinking, or simply a continued prayer. We thank you for loving us, for having a plan for us, and we offer this up in Jesus' name, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thanks so, so much for joining me for this Lexio Divina. I pray that God will bless you and your families. And uh, please consider joining me on the Catholic Light Podcast. A new episode airs every Monday as we read through the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Thanks and God bless you.